So you want to know what's awesome? 70 degree weather because that's exactly what we're finally having. We are finally done with the hot weather for now and it is like a nice nice like 78 degrees and it's perfect and it is also perfect because it's Friday so that means Friday reads Hi guys, it's Sam and I am here today with another Friday Reads video for you guys as well as my 24 and 48 readathon TBR and a little unboxing because I got a package today that I'm very excited about. So that's what this video is all about. <laughs> okay, so as you guys may or may not know, the 24 and 48 hour readathon is this weekend and that basically is kind of like the Dewey 24 hour readathon except for you break the 24 hours into 48 hours. So for those of us who like to sleep, this is a perfect, hello, okay, I guess we're going to leave now. So people like me who like to sleep, it is perfect because it's not quite as stressful, you can still get a lot of reading in and kind of motivate yourself to read, and it is great. I'll link the blog for it down below as well as the Twitter, and you can sign up and there will be prizes and things to win. It's going to be super fun. So I decided to participate again. I participated in the last one and I cannot wait to do so again. So I'm really excited to participate, so I'll show you guys the books that I'm planning on reading for that, as which is also basically going to be my Friday reads too, and potentially in a couple of the cases my week reads because some of them are very long and I know I will not finish them. So the first book that I plan on reading this weekend and for the readathon is The Singular and Extraordinary Tale of Mir and Goliath. I actually just picked this one up this week so sneak peek into my upcoming book haul at Barnes & Noble. It was definitely more of a cover buy but the story sounded intriguing. I just found the cover to be quite cool so I picked it up and I'm really enjoying it so far. It's kind of, it's very Neil Gaiman-esque, I would say, but with his own twist. It takes place in Victorian England at 1888, I believe. And Mir is a little girl who has kind of come washed up on the shores of England with her protector, Goliath Honeybee, I think his name is. Some very whimsical names in this book. But Mir is no longer human. She was locked into a very mysterious magical grandfather clock by her grandfather and it changed her but she's not really sure into what yet so there's people who are trying to get a hold of her people who are not very good including the lord of the underworld basically the devil and his minions and so she is trying to protect herself as well as goliath is trying to protect her from these things so it's very whimsical very dark. <laughs> it's definitely a little bit mysterious. It's just, I don't know, it's a really unusual book, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm about halfway through, and so I know I'll be finishing it this weekend, and I can't wait to do so. It also has massive font, especially for an adult book. I mean, the font is huge. Like, that's usually the font I see in, like, middle grade books, but this is very much not a middle grade book, but I'm really enjoying it. I find the writing to be intriguing, so I'm enjoying it, and I'm going to finish it. <laughs> the next thing I am planning on reading this weekend is going to be Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I am reading with a ton of awesome booktubers. I am actually stretching this read over the month, but I do want to get a good chunk of it read this weekend, since I'm participating in a readathon, so that's my other read. I also want to get a good chunk read at The Three Musketeers by Alexandra Dumas. I'm about 200 pages in, still really enjoying it. It's just a pretty, it's a pretty funny book. I'm really liking it. I like Alexandra Dumas writing, so I am hoping to get a good third if not half of this read this weekend that is my goal and I have one more book I want to read this week and and that is this unboxing this box from book depository I've been waiting two weeks for this and I can't wait so I will open it on camera so this is also a kind of a sneak peek into my book haul that I will be hopefully coming out next week I'm hoping I have purchased some books over the past couple months a lot of books seconds and series and things like that so I need to film that and it'll hopefully be up next week okay Oh yes, it is The Ship of Destiny, the third book in the Live Ship Trader series, and I've been waiting for this third book because I finished the second book like a week ago and I really wanted to continue on with the series and now I can. So this is going to be my main read for this weekend. I am so excited. It's a thick book, so I think it's actually the biggest in the series. No, it is not actually. It is 20 pages smaller than the second book, but it's a big book, but Robin Hobb's books are so engrossing, I can get through them quickly, and I cannot wait to do so. This is going to be my main read this weekend for this readathon, and I can't wait because I want to know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, oh, I'm so excited. All right, guys, those are the books that I am planning on reading this weekend. As for what else I am intending to do, don't know. It's going to be nice and cool out, so I might take a bike ride since it's not going to, like, kill me to do so. Wouldn't that be nice, a bike ride? She's like, I could care less. I'm a dog. I don't ride bikes. But yeah, I don't know. I really don't have anything else planned. I want to read a lot. I want to film 
and edit and do those things. So it should be, as usual, a nice relaxing weekend. More than anything, I'm really excited to reship of Destiny. I cannot wait. I can't wait, Bailey. Alright guys, that is it for my Friday reads slash 24 hour and 48 readathon TBR slash unboxing video. Kind of an eclectic little mix, perfect for a rambly Friday. But I hope you guys all had a great week. Let me know down in the comments what you plan on doing this weekend or what your reads are. And all of that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, happy reading. Bye! Mm -hmm.